What's up guys, uh, today my project is to put this uh, this JL audio uh, speaker in my car. Um, I got a kicker in there right now and it takes up so much trunk space so I got this that's made to fit on the passenger side and so we're going to install that tonight and uh, of course I'm going to shoot video of it. It, hasn't, uh, it didn't come factory with the subwoofer but I put this kicker in with, the, with an amp and and so this uh, JL is going to fit right over there. So that's what we're going to work on right now and uh, try and get that installed so that I have my trunk space back. I'm going to get this, uh, this kicker out of here. selling this kicker Take this mat out You've got to um, extend these wires these wires right here so I'm going to work on getting that uh, extended and then I'm going to have to route the wire over here and then we'll continue on I'm take this off here these things just screw off on the sides here. It's supposed to just come off there. Okay, take that out of there. Okay, I got the uh, subwoofer out and this uh, this back deck off here. Uh, and then, uh, of course, there's a spare tire. Got uh, longer wire, now I'm gonna strip these uh, the ends off these wires so they'll be ready to go and then in here on this side I got uh, some push pins I got to pull out right there another one up there yeah, I got to get this side pulled out so that's what I'm going to work on right now okay I'm going to take my trim tool and uh, get those push pins out. Okay, got that push push pin out. But it's kind of hung up down in there. So, I don't know if I can just move this over. Maybe I'll just move it over like that. Yeah, I probably can. I probably won't have to get, probably won't have to get that end um, up there by the back seat. If I can just fold this over and then uh, figure out how to route that wire through there. Okay, I'm going to take a razor knife and get that silicone out of here. Okay, now I can get those two bolts that came in the kit put in here. They give you two of these uh, all thread, they're all thread bolts that uh, have to go in there. I 
I guess if you have to have the uh, factory subwoofer, um, this plug has just an open hole, uh, and then they give you a plug to put in this hole. But this has already got one because this car didn't have the factory subwoofer in it. So, and then it also said to put these a, a quarter inch above the spacer. So I got to get it a quarter inch above. Yeah, it looks like a quarter inch above. Okay, call that good. Now I'm gonna read some more of the instructions. Next thing I gotta do is uh, fold uh, this back. This liner, and then I gotta cut some holes. Okay, I got my razor knife, and I'm going to uh, cut a couple X's right where those bolts are. And get them poking through there. This feel where they're poking into the uh, into the liner yeah. now I'm gonna cut an X right here Okay, that's done. Got these two bolts sticking it now through the uh, trunk liner. Now I'm going to work on a bracket they want you to put up over in here. I'm going to take this and fold it back out of the way. And now there's a bracket that I've got to put it up in this area here. The next step is this. Uh, bracket right here they give you in the kit uh, it's got to go right up up in here and this is uh, you know of course this is for a Mustang that uh, has never had a uh, didn't have the factory subwoofer in it which this one didn't so we got to put this bracket up in here and it just slides into this this hole right up here And it's going to line up with that hole right there, so you can put a bolt through it. Just like that. Now, I think, I'm going to go read the instructions, but I think that you put a bolt through here now. Okay, it says to thread that bolt in there as far as it'll go. So that's what we're going to do. Okay, got it started. Let's see what we got to do next. So yeah, now um, now the spacers, these spacers have to stay. And then I have to put a spacer on here. And then cut an X here to get this bolt uh, poking through. And, uh, and then we can move on to the next step. Of course it won't stay there. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that liner there and uh, cut an X in it without putting that spacer there. And then I'll put the spacer in after I get this cut. The bolt is right there. So I'm going to cut an X in that. It's right there. Okay, I'm gonna put that spacer on there now. They want me to they want me to put this spacer on there, so I'm gonna put that spacer back in there. Okay, now I gotta get that speaker wire of mine routed to where it's gonna I'm gonna be able to plug it in. So we're working on that right now. Yeah, I'm going to put these uh, push pins back in. The long one goes in the in the area back there, and then this one goes up here. Okay, got that one. Got that one. 
Okay, I'm gonna put that speaker box in here. Okay, I'm gonna have to take that speaker off now and see where I'm at. not lining up very good I'm gonna wrestle with it off camera okay I'm gonna show you guys something here uh, I finally got that uh, the speaker box in there uh, I messed with it uh, off camera for quite a while and uh, no matter what I did I could not get those bolts it's a clear right here. I'm gonna put a flashlight on it. You can see that I took my Dremel and I had to notch them. <laughs> and I did that on all of the holes to get them to poke through. I could not, for the life of me, get those things started. Uh, it just would not go back far enough. The hole was clear up in here. And you can see how far off that is. So anyway, Anyway, so you can see what I had to do. I got the speaker disconnected here, and uh, I labeled these so I know which side of the speaker these go on. Put the bolt on there, and uh, the nut, and uh, tighten them up, and then kind of push it back a little further. It's going to be nice when it's done, but it was very difficult to, to get that thing in there. I mean, with the holes they had drilled in there, there's no way it would go back far enough to get on those bolts. So anyway, that's been my experience. So now I'll go ahead and bolt this thing up and uh, get the speaker plugged back in and put back in the cabinet and we're gonna test it out. Okay, I got all the bolts and washers and everything all tightened up inside the cabinet. Cabinet's not going anywhere. I'm gonna shove this uh, insulation back in there had in the cabinet and then put the uh, speaker in and we should be done with this part of it I take this camera out and you guys probably won't be able to hear the test because to put this on YouTube I'll get a copyright strike, so I'm going to be testing it off camera. So anyway guys, uh, in conclusion, um, it's the next day and uh, I've got my project done, got the subwoofer in, uh, it sounds great, I've tested it and uh, uh, the insulation wasn't without its problems. So uh, anyway, I'll leave it just, uh, I got this on American Muscle and uh, I'll leave uh, links in the description if you want to check this uh, subwoofer out. I got all my trunk space back again, like I said. And uh, thanks for watching. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. And please subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next video.